Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining. I am Shelly Moyes, and I'm the veteran owner of Noel's Garden Home and Body. Again, thank you so much for joining today. We are going to review soap calc. We're going to go over how to put in a formula, how to create a formula here in soap calc. And then we're going to go over how to edit a formula you have been given that is not in percentages. Okay, so let's get started. When you go to the SoapCalc page, SoapCalc.org, it brings, I'm sorry, SoapCalc.net, it brings you here to this page. So we're going to click on Recipe Calculator. One thing that I like about SoapCalc is that if you have a question about any of its sections, if you tap on the number, it'll bring you up Help, which will describe that area so that you know which selection to click on. Okay, so we'll close that. And then I'm going to make this just a bit larger so that we can see a little bit clearer. Okay. So our first setting here, our first number is one, type of lye. NaOH is for bar soap, KOH is for your liquid soap. And KOH comes into two types, your uh, KOH, uh, that is 100% pure, and KOH, that is 90% pure. It's important to know which one you have when making liquid soap. Typically, though, when we use soap calc, we are using NaOH, which is the default, so you won't need to change anything. Two is your weight of oils. I put in my formulas using ounces. However, I weigh in grams. So here I'm going to go with 36 ounces. Water as a percentage of oil depends on um, how you personally like to create your bar. Water as a percentage of oils at 38% is pretty high for me for cold processed soap. I tell my beginner soap makers to start with in between 36 and 38. Lye concentration is an advanced method. I don't go over it in my soap making classes. Lye water ratio is advanced, but not, um, not confusing. It is just your ratio from your water to your lye amount. However, for beginner soap makers, I recommend stay right here with water as a percentage of oils. Now, what does that mean? It literally is the amount of water here based on the amount of oils you use. So when this is calculated, that amount will be 36% of your 36 ounces of oils. It's literally a percentage of your oils. And again, if you have any confusion about that, you can click on three and it will explain that a bit more. See here, it says more experienced users typically reduce this percentage to around 32 to 33. However, comma, I do want to caveat that with, you must know what everything in your formula is going to do before you reduce and go down to that much. We call that a water discount. If you have a fragrance that misbehaves, for instance, you want to stick with that 36%. Number four is your super fat. While this is your water discount, this is called a super fat, but it's actually a lie discount. A super fat is extra oil that you add to your bar that is not going to saponify. It's not going to turn into soap. We do this for two reasons. The first reason is to give you a bit of a buffer. If there is any type of slight measuring area, um, any type of slight measuring error with your lie. So say for instance, your scale doesn't um, measure in grams, which is pretty precise. It measures in ounces. If your lie amount is 
seven, your scale may only measure 3.85 or 3.9. And if your amount is 3.87, you really have no way of knowing what your scale is measuring. So if you have a bit of a super fat buffer that covers you for those little tiny variances in what your scale may do. The second reason is that having a bit of oil left over in your bar, a bit more fat, makes for a more luxurious bar. So the default here is 5%, which is fine. Many soapers soap at 5%. But typically, a super fat is anywhere in between 5 and 10%, okay? Our next amount here is your fragrance. This is listed, the default is 0.5 or half of an ounce per pound of oil. That is how this is written, a half of an ounce per pound of oil. So here, because I have a little bit over two pounds, of oil, this is going to measure me out at a little bit over one ounce of fragrance. So again, just like your water is dependent upon your oils, your fragrance calculation here is also dependent upon your oil. What I will say here is that I typically will zero this out and I will refer to the manufacturer or the place where I buy that fragrance to determine how much fragrance that I need. I don't allow the calculator here to determine that. Okay, so our next area is our soap qualities, which goes kind of hand in hand here with number six. So let's start with, um, let's add some. It always does that. Some sweet almond oil. And then we'll add a bit of coconut oil. Let's add some not olive pumice, some olive oil. Although there would be nothing wrong with olive pumice. But for our example, uh-oh, next we're going to use some shea butter and then we're going to use some beef tallow. Um, what we saw here as I was adding those, as you click on a, in, in a, a fat here, the soap quality will show up. So beef tallow, our soap quality, the so hardness, the cleansing, the conditioning, those show up. When we click on shea butter, those show up. So this to me is one of the best things about soap calc is that it does calculate in the qualities of your soap beforehand. It allows you a bit of manipulation and, and to be able to see um, how your bar is going to perform. So let's come over here and add some numbers. For our sweet almond oil, we're gonna go with 10 here and 30 of our olive oil. Coconut, we're going to go with 25 for our beef tallow, 25, and for our shea butter, 10. Hit number seven, calculate recipe, and there are some things that are happening. Now we see that here in section five, we have the qualities for our bar of soap, not just for that one individual oil. Over here for number six, we have our measurements, not just the percentages, we have our measurements, and then we have our totals down here. So we're gonna select multiple tabs and then view or print recipe. And our printed recipe comes up. So when we go over this, our total oil weight is 36 as we put into our formula. Water as percentage of oils is 36. That's what we selected. But if you look here, it's given us our lye concentration as well as the water to lye ratio, okay? Over here, we have some information as far as our saturated to unsaturated ratio, 
our fragrance we did zero out because again the best practice is to go to the maker or where you purchase that fragrance and find out exactly how much or how little you should use particularly so when using essential oils our water amounts are here our lye amount our oil total amount and again that fragrance amount if you chose to enter it before and then we have our um, fats we have our percentages that we entered we have our weights in pounds ounces and in grams and then we have those qualities that we have in the ranges along with a bit more information about those fatty acids okay so pretty simple um more intimidating um the the site itself uh oh is a lot more intimidating than it actually is you just kind of have to get past all of these things that are happening on the web page and changing just kind of all of these things and the presentation of the page itself but once you get past that and all of these things that are happening, soap calc is actually quite easy to use. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start all over. And I had some things here. Let's close those out. This is what we had. Perfect. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to build our formula that is editable from a recipe that we found. Oftentimes when you read a recipe, you find it in a book, you find it online, you may not have much information about it. So the safest thing to do is to come in and run it through SoCalc. Likewise, if it is a new formula, you may not want to use their set amount. You may want to run a test batch. So not only do you want to run it through soap calculator, but you want to edit it, change the size, and make it a smaller batch for you. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to make this larger again so we can see a little better. All right. So again, we're starting with our NaOH, our sodium hydroxide. And right now, although we do want to work with this in ounces, we're going to leave that blank because we don't know that yet. All we know is the amounts that have been given to us in the formula, but we don't quite know our ounces or anything like that yet. Our water as percentage of oils, however, we can control that. So we can bring that to 36. Your super fat, again, you can control that. So you can change that however you'd like. And if you know your fragrance amount, let's say you want to use one ounce per pound of oil, you're using a fragrance that you're comfortable with, go with that, okay? So <clears throat> now we're going to use a formula that we already have. We are going to add our sweet almond oil, not argan oil, sweet almond oil. And then the next is coconut oil. Then our olive oil. Our shea butter. And our beef tallow. And instead of percentages, because we don't know our percentages, we're going to come over here to ounces. Our sweet almond is 360 and our coconut is nine. So let's add in our 3.6 and our nine ounces. And then 10.8 and another 3.6. And then beef tallow is at 9% as well. Okay. 
I'm going to shrink this out. This looks a little large for me. Okay. Is that 9% as well? And then let's calculate our recipe. Now we know a bit more information about our formula. We have our percentages. Now we can come over here and click for these percentages and we can change the size of our badge. So once your, your formula here is based on your percentages, you come over here and you say, I don't wanna use 36 ounces of oil. I only want to use 12. And you calculate your recipe, again, multiple tabs, view print, and now you have a workable test formula. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, go ahead and like that for me. And if you feel so led, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, go ahead and leave them down and I'll get right back to you. Thanks and have a phenomenal day. Goodbye now.